Hi, this is Steve Romine with Pavement Services. Today we are at Free Coat Metals and we're installing a new chemical containment area. Right now we're pouring the concrete, we're pumping it out of the truck. We broke out the other containment area that was in this location. It didn't have a liner in it. And the customer was afraid that the chemicals were, would leach into the groundwater. That black plastic you see is a 40 mil poly liner. And that's what will contain any kind of chemical spill when the concrete cracks. The concrete will crack and the chemicals will seep through. We're pouring a 3,000 PSI concrete today. We've got a half inch rebar on 12 inch centers. We can't puncture this uh, liner with any kind of a stake, a grade stake. It makes it a little more difficult to get your grade. We're shooting a grade with a laser level. We're going to pour these curves as soon as this concrete firms up a little bit. As I said earlier, we, we don't have any grade stakes that actually go into the ground, so it makes it a little harder to hold the forms in place. What we're doing is we're going to Pour the concrete, let it firm up a little bit, and it will hold those kickers in. This is the next day after the pour. We've finished up. We're just doing some tying up some loose ends right now. These guys are attaching the liner to the back of the curb. The liner is what's going to keep the chemicals retained. Notice that black strip of plastic, that's our liner. And we run that up on the outside of the curb. So theoretically, if there is a chemical spill, if one of these totes starts to leak, it'll actually drain down to this area right over here. We have a catch basin and uh, there's gonna be a pump installed over there, pump it out. comes the dump trailer we're gonna haul off some broken concrete loading up some dirt and concrete to get out of here and we'll be finished up with this portion of the job